in the next lesson we are going to learn how to create your first project in visual studio for this i am going to launch the visual studio once you launch it for the very first time you would see two sections one is the open recent if you have created any project if you are doing it for the very first time it will be blank and on the right hand side you have got all these options clone a repository open a project or a solution open local folder create new project so for the very first time what we will do i am going to click on create a new project now once you are once you have clicked on new project this is the screen you will find in the screen you see there are three different drop downs available visual basic so here what you do in this drop down you will be selecting visual basic in the first drop down okay and in the next drop down you have all the different options these are the platforms android azure ios linux mac os for which you are going to build an application so here to start with i am going to select windows okay visual basic windows and here it will give you different options out of this what you do select desktop so what is the understanding here i am going to create a visual basic project on windows operating system for desktop you are going to build a desktop application once you select this here you would find all different templates now the question is what are this these are actually templates which would help you to build it to get started you don't want to write everything from the scratch you need certain template on which you would like to start your project so here it will give you multiple different options out of this we are going to select windows forms app a project template for creating a dotnet windows forms or win forms app so this is what we are going to select why did we apply filters the moment you ap applied filter what happens it will show you all the required templates out of that you can select one of them now to start with i would recommend you to start with this template and as the time goes we might be using other templates as well right now i'm going to click on windows form app highlight and once it is highlighted then hit on next next in the next screen it is asking me what is the project name would you like to give by default it started with a project name called win forms app 1 but this name is not enough you would like to give your own specific name so let us try i am going to give the name as my first bb project this is your project name after that the next option is location by default you can see on your screen it might select a given location which is for me c drive uses and my username and source and repos what is more important as a developer you should visit this folder location let's do that let me open the folder and go to c drive and here i'll go to uses and then i'll go to my folder name and here i have to look for something called source do you see something called source is there i'll open that up and inside this i have something called repos i'll click on repos and then this is the folder where it is going to create the project let's go back so this is understood you also have an option to change the location but i would recommend to leave as it is next option is solution now what is the difference between project name and solution so solution is your main container for example you go to kitchen in the kitchen you find a box or a container having salt another container having sugar another contain container having tea coffee powder so these are different containers so project is a container and this is the place like kitchen is your place inside that you have multiple containers similar way solution is the main folder in which you would have your projects so what you can do you can rename this folder to something else for example i'll say solution i'll add a word my first baby project solution 
Now look at there is another option called place solution and project in the same directory. If you hit on check mark, look at the location here, how it appears. The location says C drive uses Rake source repo, repos, my first VB project solution, and inside that the project is there, my first project. Do you see? This is the structure. Now, the moment you click on this, what happens? It takes both the solution and the project as the same directory. It will have only one folder. You can either go with this option. If not, I want to have a separate one. I will simply type solution. I'll keep it separate. So this is how the location would appear. And then I'm going to hit on next. Then it is going to ask you select the framework, .NET framework. So I'll go with the latest available. With time, the framework version might be improved one. So right now we have 8.0. You can select the latest one. Just ensure it is long term support. And then click on create. Now you will see once the Visual Studio is trying to create the project for you, you would also see behind the scene in the folder, you would also see the folder got created. Let me go back. So you can see my first VV project solution, the solution folder got created. Inside that, I have got my first VV project. And then inside this, if you see, there is something called .sln. SLN stands for solution. These are all configuration or settings for the project. Currently, you don't have to worry about it. Leave everything as it is. Do not delete anything that gets auto-created by the Visual Studio application. Leave it as it is. And inside this My VV project, you can see there are bin folder, My project folder, object. These are also required for the execution of the project. So ensure none of the files you rename or change them at the moment. Leave it as it is. Now my project, if you see application designer.vv, this is the couple of files get auto created. Let's go back. Now the moment you launch the Visual Studio, you would see this is how it appears. Now sometime you might not be liking the theme of this one because last time I have gone with dark theme. The first thing that comes to my mind, how would I change the theme to something else? Now for that, you have an option called tools and here you have something called theme option. So if you go to theme option, you can easily change it. Okay. Or else you can also go to options and under general, you can also change it. Two different options. So let's do one thing. Let's select blue and click on OK. So you can see the theme has changed for me. You can see the entire theme has changed. Let's say I don't like this. Let me change to something else. Tools. And then I will change it as blue maybe. Okay. All right. So like that you can experiment which is the thing that you like. Let's say I will go with light. Click on okay. You can see the, how the theme is changing. Entire theme is changing. So let's stick to something. I am going to stick to maybe the blue one. And click on OK. So this is one thing done. The moment you open for the very first time, ignore this one uh, because I have set my desktop screen to 120% scaling just for to ensure everything appears clearly. I am going to just ignore this message. You might not get that. Now there are two different windows here. What's new and form view one. What's new? We can go through it. Anyways, we are going to learn. I'm going to close this. This is not required at the moment. And this is how the screen would appear for the very first time. So you got a form here. Do you see there's a form? But how to work with this form? Let's see it. Now, the very first thing, once you have this form, what you need is a property window. Sometimes this property window might not be visible for you. Sometimes you will not see this property window. Sometimes I also do not see a toolbox. Do you see? I don't see a toolbox. What is a toolbox? What is this property window? You will learn. But how do you have the required screens so that you can start your project? If you don't see them, in case you don't see them, what you can do is click on view. And then you have something called toolbox here. I'm going to click on toolbox. So now you can see the toolbox has appeared on the left side. What is this toolbox? Let's say I want to drag a, I want to create a button. So if you drag and drop, you can see the button is created. So that is the use of a toolbox. 
and let's say you do not see the properties this window is not there for you so what you do right click on it and click on properties and automatically the property window would appear this is how you can get the toolbox and the properties side by side okay so this much is clear now let's see what can i do with this as a very first project let's do something valuable i have this button now anybody who clicks on the button i should be able to see some message for example hello world so what i will do i'll click on this button and then i will go to the properties panel now the properties panel has got lot many options initially it might confuse you but as you use it you get used to them all the properties so do not worry about so many things here what do you do this button it is written as button 1 let's learn how can i change the display here so display means it is appear under appearance right you see a bold one appearance under that if you see there is a text called button 1 i am going to change it for example i will say click me what i'm saying click me so what happens the moment you have written something here and then clicked outside you will see the text of this has changed it's it is currently saying click me okay next thing what i want to do i would like to pin this probably so i'll pin it so that it doesn't move out when i click here it still stays on my screen now I'll highlight the button again so what we have done just now under appearance i have changed the text property i would like to change the color for example if you see the color is coming somewhere like gray or white color i would like to change the appearance of it so what i will do this option called a uh, uh, first appearance let's see four color there is something called back color do you see let me click on this and let me see if i can choose some other option for example if i say active caption you can see the button color has changed sometimes you might be interested to get some other color so you can click on custom and under custom you can select any the, any of the color that you like to really have it so these are the options currently provided you can go with any of these options okay so let's stick to one color at the moment so this is the button color i have got now there is another important property using which we will write the code what is the use of this the moment somebody clicks on it i would like to show a message hello world or i would like to print my name so how do i really do it for this there is another property so we, we have learned how many properties we have learned right now two properties text property you have seen and then we have seen the back color like that you can experiment with all different properties we have now let's go sc scroll down and there you would have another property called the name of the button okay so let's see allow app data design under design you have something called this one so this name i don't want to leave it as button 1 i would give some sensible name for example i'll say to i'll i'll follow some nomenclature i'll say button so i'll say btn underscore and i'll say show message i'll give some proper name done so i've given the button a name this is the there are two things one is a display name which says click me the other text is a display name and the actual button name for the programming is button show msg message this is the actual the programming name name of the button what do i mean by this programming name let me show you what you have to do highlight this button and double click on it what i have to do double click on the button the moment i double click on the button a code window will appear do you see a code window has appeared for me now what are this let's understand one by one so if you see the very first line the very first line which is a public class form 1 right so this is the form 1 the form which we are currently working on so how do i go back if you see this is the form so this is the form window which has opened and here is the place where i can start my coding so i don't need the property panel this side so i am going to close this now i can see the entire thing now you have the option to give some space before you write your code you can just hit on enter and create some space that doesn't matter 
So what happened? The class has started here and the class is ending here. Do you see? The class has started for the form. The class has started here and it has ended. So what is a class? Everything we will learn. But at the moment, let's focus on few important aspects. As a beginner, you don't want to get into complexities at the moment. Let's keep it easy. So by default, this will, because you have used a template, by default, it is going to give you all these things written. You don't have to type it. So this is what has come. Now let's look at the second line. So if you see sub, the sub has started and the sub is ending. So what you have understood, the class has started here, class is ending here, the sub has started here, sub is ending here. Now what is the sub? Now the sub contains the button name. You remember we have given a specific name called button underscore show message. So the button name is appearing. After that, underscore click. So what is the meaning? What you will do with the button? You will click the button, right? So click is an event. I am going to click on the button. So click is an event. And these are called arguments. Now right now we are not focusing on arguments. So leave it as it is. As we proceed, we will learn about all these things. So these are the arguments you can pass it to the click event. Handles button show message dot click. So this is the method. So when you click on it, something should happen. So what should happen? So when I am clicking on it, what I want? I want to show a message. So what I will do, I just click on here, hit enter, come down. You can use the arrow buttons to come down and I would like to write something. So the moment you write, the beauty of the Visual Studio is it is going to give you those codes automatically populated. So if you can see the moment I typed MSG, the message box code has automatically appeared for me. Now all I have to do, you can hit on tab. Now when you hit on tab, it's quite easy, right? I don't have to write the entire word. It gives you some, it, it saves your time. So now I'll use parenthesis. Now what happened here, if you see the MSG box has got an error. So this arrow, if you see the red color one, that means there's some error has happened here in the code. So let me type it again, MSG box. Okay. And in this one, I'm going to type some message. What I will type, I'll say, hello world so hello world we have typed now let's do one thing let's save this so there are two buttons here one is save one is save all let's click on save all once it's done i'm going to close this let the code be behind the scene all i have to do run this so there is a button here you can see my first vv project so i'm going to run it Okay, so the run has started, it's compiling. Wait for a few seconds. Now it is ready. The form is ready, the application is ready. Now what I will do, the moment, let me minimize everything. Okay, so the application is ready. The moment I click on this button, what I saw, a message, hello world. And the moment I click on okay, it's all done. I'm going to close this. So just now what you have done, you have created a simple project to print hello world. The very first step is achieved and you have learned so many things. Now you like to experiment few more properties. You can pretty well do it. How do you open the property panel? In case see the property panel is hidden right now because I had closed. So you can click on properties and the property window is back. Try to explore all the different options that you see it here. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. We are going to meet once again to learn something new in the next video. Thank you.